Hey guys, this is Tim Verdell and welcome to My Traffic Jacker review. Uh, today I'm going to show you what My Traffic Jacker is all about. I'm going to show you the software, how it works, how you can work with it. Um, I'm going to show you the upsells. Um, so when you buy this product, you also have some additional products that you can buy in the funnel. And I'm going to show you, well, I'm not going to show you my bonuses, but uh, when you go to the link in the description here, that will redirect you to my website. Uh, where I get, will give away bonuses as a special thank you when you buy through my link. So make sure if you want to buy my traffic jacker that you check out the link uh, in the description or the description below this video. So that will take you to my website where you can check out those bonuses. I'm not going to pay much attention to the bonuses because I want to dive into this product review. That's what this video is all about. All right, let's dive into it. What is my traffic jacker and what can you do with it? Well, right now I'm logged in into the backend and let me first explain what my traffic jacker is. This tool allows you to do searches within Wikipedia and within YouTube, uh, and it will search for links that are expired and available to buy. So when you do a YouTube search, for example, it will search through all the YouTube videos with a specific search query, and it will look for uh, domain links that are placed in the description below this video. So right now in my video, there's a, a description and a link in this video that will redirect to my website. But there are a lot of videos on YouTube that have links in the description below their video uh, that are not being used and that are available to purchase right now. So what you basically will do is you, you're gonna buy that domain name and you're gonna get the traffic from those existing videos that will redirect automatically to the domain that you buy. So that's how it works. Uh, it also works with Wikipedia. It searches for Wikipedia for links that are in Wikipedia that are also being available to purchase. Uh, and you can use those domains to use as backlinks, for example, to your website to build the authority of your website. Or you could even do um, you use those domain names to sell affiliate offers or uh, to read or, or to create a website on that specific domain. And I have a very good example today, uh, which blew me away, actually, what I found after playing with this tool. So first, let me show you how this tool works. So here at the left side, and by the way, this is the dashboard where you have some videos where you can set up your YouTube API and your GoDaddy API. Uh, it's very simple. Anyone can do this. Uh, but what this tool is all about is about keyword research. So it has basically, it, it has two options. Here you can type some specific keywords. So if you go very general, uh, for example, you're gonna do weight loss in here, you're gonna get suggestions for um, search queries where it's going to search for on YouTube or Wikipedia. Now, weight loss is a very hot market and probably uh, not many domains will be available or the videos will not have links in the description that are expired. So um, you need to be a bit creative when you do search terms in this specific field area. Now, this morning, what I did is so let me first show you uh, how it works. So here it says, for example, all those weight loss things. So you can do weight loss medication. When you click on this icon, it will bring you to this part where you can create a search. And here you can, uh, yeah, tell them, tell my traffic jacker if you want to search on YouTube or if you want to search on Wikipedia. Now let's take YouTube, for example, then uh, it's going to search for weight loss medication this is not really a monetizable um, uh, search term, but it, it's just for the ID to give you an ID. Within a minute, I'm going to show you my search query with a domain that I'm going to buy because I found it with my traffic jacker. Uh, I was blown away when I saw that. So here's the upload date. So you can say by default, this is videos from six months and all uh, to get you better results from expired domains. Uh, you can choose for few count or relevance. I will put this on relevance and uh, in the page to search. So is, it, does the API need to search on page two, page three of YouTube or only page one? So I prefer page one because that has the most views, of course. And then you can create your search uh, results or it's going to put you in the queue and here it's going to search for videos and it's going to check videos and it's going to check for links. And also the target links at the right side will be the links that are available to purchase or 
maybe not yet available to purchase. Now, like I said before, uh, you need to be creative with what you're searching. So right now I don't have any results. So what I did when I went to research and here you see all the, the searches that you've done in the past. And um, I'm not sure if you're limited, by the way, it says nine or 500 performed today. If there's a limitation, by the way, 500 is a lot. You can simply click the cross and as you can see, it goes to eight or 500. So basically you don't have a limit. What I did, I went a bit creative and I wanted to search on Wikipedia. And what I did, I typed the keyword. I wanted to have something like Apple products. I was an affiliate for Apple in the past for Apple products uh, being sold through stores here in the Netherlands. So what I did, I thought let's uh, search for um, Apple history. Just are there articles about Apple's history? And when I create this search, look what happens. And this is going to take a while. Um, this is going to take probably a, a, a minute. But as you can see right now, it has 10 articles, two articles checked, 362 links, uh, and five links are expired or uh, they are going to expire soon or the link is broken. Uh, but you can check those links out also. Uh, yeah what's wrong with them or not. But it's also going to give you one result. And this is a really awesome result if it's still available because I tried this this morning. So I hopefully nobody else saw this result and has bought that domain because I'm, I wanna buy it right now uh, in this review or, or just when I'm finished uh, with this review because I'm gonna show you these results. Now, let me tell you upfront while this thing is still searching uh, one of the upgrades also allow you, um, within a, a minute, you're going to see the search results in here um, with domains that are not expired yet. Um, what you can do with one of the upgrades is there will be a notification bell uh, on top of each search result. And what that does is it's going to place you in here in the domain reminders. So what that does is once that domain comes available, you'll be uh, notified immediately once that domain is available. So it could be that right now the domains are not available yet, uh, but once they become available, you're the first person that's going to see um, yeah, that, that that domain is available and you can purchase it immediately. So that's pretty cool. Um, but again, you need to be some creative. Don't expect when you have this tool that you uh, will find thousands of results immediately you just need to be a bit creative and that's also what i was i mean i searched for apple history it's not a typical search um query you would put in but the search result that i got is pretty awesome so uh, while this is still searching because this is a, a long search um, most of the times when you put in a search query it will take you less than a minute uh, but probably because it's finding so many articles and links it has to check uh, a lot more. So I'm going to let this run and we're going to uh, feel to the upsells already. So when you're uh, in the link in the description below this video, you will also be redirected to this part that we're going to discuss here, uh, because this is the, the, the upsell funnel that you can expect. Now, what uh, does this product cost? What does my traffic checker cost? Well, uh, as it's being launched, it will cost you between 27 and 37 dollars depending on when you buy this. Uh, if you buy this at the start of the launch, you probably pay $27. If you're later, you're gonna pay $37 to get access to the tool. Then you got uh, one, two, three, four OTOs, four upsells. The first upsell here is $27, uh, which is a case study uh, where you will be getting multiple over the shoulder case studies uh, with my traffic jacker uh, where they purchase and monetize campaigns using the domains that they found on wikipedia and youtube so it's a training how to monetize it uh, and what you can do with these links and the results that they got with it uh, that's the case study that's the first oto which is 27 dollars the second upsell oto2 is 47 dollars uh, which is called the elite version 
And with this package, you will be unlocking two powerful features. And one of those features I already mentioned is that you can save your search results when a domain name is not available yet, you will be notified immediately. Uh, and you will be unlocking the domain or this the domain reminder. Uh, the first one is they you'll be unlocking their ocean search feature, uh, which allows you to take one domain and with one click, you will be able to find every single video uh, that has the domain posted on it. So basically what my traffic jacker does is it gives you one results where the video or where the domain is posted on a video with, with this upsell, you immediately see if the same domain link is posted over multiple videos. So if you have one domain name and it's posted over 20 videos, it has a lot more value than when you find one domain name that's posted in one specific video. Then the third OTO is my Syn, uh, SynLab plus SynBuddy. Now, SynBuddy, I don't have SynBuddy, but I have SynLab. Uh, and SynLab is this tool where you can connect or, yeah, where you can syndicate multiple services. So like here, you can connect Twitter, YouTube, WordPress, uh, LiveJournal, Blogger, Tumblr, LinkedIn, etc. What you can do with SynLab is you can post to all these social media channels uh, by simply putting in one post in here, and then it's going to post over all these social media channels. Now, where you can also use SynLab for is to rank your YouTube videos, for example, or to rank your website. How does that work? Uh, you simply go to Fiverr. This is a bit of extra information that you're going to get for free. Uh, but if you search for expired Tumblr, uh, Tumblr, oh, I'm doing it wrong, Tumblr uh, domains, you will get this for example expired tumblers page authority 70 plus what you can do is you can buy this gig where you're going to get 20 expired tumblr domains with an authority of 70 plus uh, and you're going to connect these these tumblr accounts to your sin lab account when you have a new video posted on youtube for example you're going to use sin lab and share that link over those 20 expired domains that you have added to your SynLab account. Or you can even do 40 or 50 expired domains that are all pointing to your YouTube video. So that's um, a cool upgrade. Of course, you don't need it with My Traffic Jacker uh, to use My Traffic Jacker. It's just an additional upgrade that you can choose if you'd like to. Uh, and you can use to link build uh, or whatever to rank. And then OTO4 is uh, subjectors, and here you will get um, the ability to unlock their virtual assistant um, sub subaccess sub -access feature. Um, what it basically does is that their assistants can do all the hijacking of the domains for you um, instead of you doing it yourself. So you can be out wherever and then those virtual assistants will search for the domains for you. And that's a $67 one time fee. So let's go back to my traffic checker to see if the results are in. Right now you can see that the results are in. And as you can see, a lot of domains are not available anymore. So with the upgrade, there's a notification so that you can put it in here. Um, let's see where in the domain reminders. I don't have that option right now in my review access. Uh, but what I've found here, look at this domain. This got me so pretty excited um, because this domain is available. Now look at this domain. It's macbookprice.com. I mean, this is a very, very, very good domain name. When I go to GoDaddy, I can see that this domain is still available and I can purchase this right now for 99 cents. I can buy Mac macbookprice.com. I mean, that's a freaking... Uh, awesome domain name. When I go to, when I copy this MacBook price and I go to this tool from GoDaddy and this is domain name value uh, and appraisal, when I put this domain in here, what GoDaddy is going to do, it's going to give me um, a value price, what they think of this domain, the, the value of this domain. Now look what value I get out of this domain. It's worth an estimated value of $1,118, this specific domain name that I found here with my traffic jacker. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm, I'm going to buy this domain name for sure. I mean, this is uh, 
let's let's say it's only worth 500 or 400 bucks right um and here's some explanation why this this domain name is is of such a high value um but this is simply because i found this with my traffic checker and as you can see uh it's in here in this wikipedia article so when i open this wikipedia article uh, you will see a complete Wikipedia article of timeline of Apple products. So when I scroll down, let's let's search for Mac on this page or Mac MacBook, MacBook. Look here, MacBook, MacBook, all the yellow one, MacBook Air, MacBook, MacBook. Do you see all these results in here are all Mac? book related or Mac related as you can see here a lot of value on this page this is a very official page Wikipedia page now when I scroll to the bottom a lot of information it says here external links now look at this link Mac product cycle when I click this link it opens this domain as you can see this domain is is not being used anymore macbookprice.com I mean what a genius name is this so after this review is done I'm going to purchase this domain so it will not be available anymore when you see this review uh, but that's possible I mean it's the only domain name when you when we search here you see this domain is not available there are not other domain names available so again it takes a bit of of uh, yeah how do I say that um, it's not a typical search so it, it, it asks a bit of create create creativity to find search domains but I mean it's pretty cool so that's what what this tool is about so this is uh, the Wikipedia uh, but it also works for example when you want to do a research you can just simply hit the plus here or you can search for the keywords in here so um, Apple products let's see if there's also something on YouTube so and I'm going to search uh, for Apple products here or just go into the research in here and I'm going to do Apple products first let me go to delete my results because this is it is one general review account so not someone else going to purge that domain um, so let's say on YouTube I want to say Apple products let's see if it comes up with a result on YouTube so it's going to search on YouTube this is not going to cost that many time this is a uh, zero target links um, again you need to be creative I think it's a pretty cool tool it will search for the links in YouTube uh, and will find uh, I've had multiple searches where I had multiple links that I could purchase uh, but I'm not gonna spend time on that right now uh, because I think you you've seen the value of this tool and what you can do with it so um, yeah to recap it's a very cool tool to find expired domains on YouTube and Wikipedia uh, YouTube can be used I think to monetize the current traffic that comes from your YouTube videos that are clicking the link in the description of the YouTube videos and a Wikipedia can be used to link building uh, or simply to sell that domain because I'm going to buy that specific domain uh, MacBook uh, prices or MacBookPrice.com. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to flip that domain I'm going to sell that domain and that's what you can do with my traffic check now again um, you can go to my website when you go to the link in the description below this video you will see my uh, review and the upsells also this review uh, and you will also see the bonuses that I'm going to give away as a thank you uh, for purchasing through my link so I want to thank you for uh, yeah thank you for watching my traffic jacker review if you have any questions make sure you ask them in the description below this video or on the chat on my website and uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you in my next review bye bye